Hello, this is Bad Gunner here at YouTube, and I am here to give you guys just a short, but probably five to six minute review of the HTC One V. You probably can't see it too well on the screen because of glare and the shitty iMac camera. So, as I get started, there's one or two complaints I have about this phone. And it is on the side here, right there, as you can see, if you can see, that is a micro USB charging port with no cover. It comes with no cover whatsoever, and that just leaves it open for damage. What if I brought it to the beach, sand could get in it, or just something like that. Dirt could get in it, and possibly ruin it. Another part in faulty design is this back part here. It can't get removed on, by this part and you can't take out the battery. So you're going to be pretty much just fondling around with it until you, fig <laughs> until you figure out you have to take off just this end piece here. And this end piece connects your internet and Wi-Fi. Or they're probably the same thing, I don't know, I'm tripping and it has your speaker in it. So if you take this out, it will not be able to connect to the internet. So, yeah. Also, one thing is, like, if I'm on the web, you probably can't see it or anything, but right now I have four bars. And if I put my hand over the bottom piece here with the Wi-Fi connector like this, like this, and just hold it or hold it, blah, 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 it just, it acts kind of weird. Like, I'll go down to two bars, sometimes one, and that could be an issue. So, I'm going to get in here. This is a review on complaints I have about the phone. The good parts I have is it has really good, really, 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 really good quality in the image quality in the phone. It's crystal clear. It's almost too par of an iPhone. And I think iPhones are superior in their screen color. But it's the same size screen. It's a 3.7 inch screen. It has a 1 gigahertz Snapdragon S2 processor. It's a Qualcomm. I forgot what type. But it's not very that fast. And another complaint I have. It only comes with 1 gigabyte of storage. So if you think you're going to be downloading a whole bunch of games or a whole bunch of apps, you're not going to be doing that right away on this phone. You're going to have to buy an SD card. Another thing about this phone is it just feels really like if you drop it, it's going to break. I hate that feeling. Like if I go, oh shit, I'm like, oh god, I'm going to break it. So I need to get a silicone case, which I don't have yet. I would suggest to get a silicone, not plastic or snap-on or anything for this phone. Also, when I was using the Google Chrome web browser, it was kind of slow and a tad bit choppy, and that's not that big of a deal, though. It was only when I was zooming in and out. Otherwise, it was really good at loading pages, and it was very fluent, and I like that about it. So, I'm just loading up the game, because I'm about to play one. But also, when I play games... The 1 gigahertz S2 processor doesn't really do too well with gaming. So if you're thinking about let's go play Dead Trigger or something like that, you could definitely play it, but HD games are limited and you'll probably get a little bit of choppiness when you're playing it. It's not one of the best phones out there, but it's only 100 bucks at Virgin Mobile USA right now and it'll be 150 bucks usually. It'll probably drop down if you're watching this video in like a year from now or something like that. But this has been my review of the HTC One V. It's got this cool little chin on it, touchscreen buttons on the front, all touchscreen right there. Yep, yeah, see those. Um, it's got Android 4.0 ice cream sandwich, which is all right. I don't really know anything else I could say about the phone. It's just a really beautiful phone. It's got a full aluminum back, a 5 megapixel camera, blah, blah, blah. I could keep going on, but I mean, yeah.
It also, oh, oh, a lot of people want to know this. It doesn't get drop calls. I haven't gotten one drop call yet. And also, it's really good if you want to be using social apps and everything, like Facebook, Twitter, and all that. They're really fast. And also, it's 3G network. There's no 4G on this phone, so that might be a downfall. Okay, everybody, this is Bad Gunner here, and this is my Let's... About to say Let's Play like a fucking moron. Excuse me. That pisses me off when I mess up. And this is Bad Gunner here. Goodbye. This has been my review of the HTC 1B. It's at Virgin Mobile USA.